Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is gonna be like a review. Um, I guess unboxing more likely than review, but um, just unboxing of AMD A4 3400 CPU, which includes the heatsink. All right. So that's exciting. It's come with the heatsink, huh? Anyways, be like one of those cheap crappy one uh, but I have to deal with this for right now just because I'm making really cheap computer too well with some good parts than what like you know other manufacturer would do like I guess Acer or Gateway or something like that you know what I mean so anyways I'm just gonna do it APU accelerated processing unit, this unit, AMD accelerated processing unit, install instruction and limited lifetime warranty and stuff like that, okay. Uh, don't really care about that. It does have direct X11 capable. I'm not even gonna play your game. Uh, this is for, not for me, but most likely it's for like family kind of stuff. So not even gonna play games or anything like that. Um, it is 2.7 gigahertz processor with um, one megabyte of total cache and I, don't know, I think that's got L1 and L2 cache not L3 not L3 it's not that high end so let's open this thing up and yes I did got it from Newegg so just like most computer stuff that you should buy from Newegg or Tiger Direct or TigerDirect.com or um, NCIX.com which is a Canadian company and um, they're pretty good they do have US websites so you can buy if you still live in US or anything like that you can still buy stuff from them too so all those sites are good um, get the stuff as you know just gotta check and see if you can find something and price compare and all this kind of stuff for example I'm building this computer and um, I got three things from it got motherboard RAM and um, the CPU APU um, and um, that was from Tiger um, Newegg which was, um, I think they were all same price, the only reason I got it was it was free shipping or something. So yeah, um, it was same price, free shipping, three days. So you know, thumbs up for their um, new X shipping actually. Took only three days and um, you know, actually happy with the customer service as far as right now goes. If I have any problem or anything and if I have to call them or something, and then we'll see what what's up because this is the first time I think I used um, yes yeah, this is the first time I used Newegg but um, I have used Tiger Rack in past and they're pretty good about customer service as well I have to call only once wasn't that big of a deal all right well Sister processor, um, should I take it out? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm gonna take it out because you can pretty much see what's up. Because there's nothing much to see except you know it's got AMD Vision sticker here. If you wanna put put on your like case or something, but um, mm, I'm not gonna do that. Just I'm not. I don't want to ruin my case or something. So. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna put like um, LED lights, LED strips inside, just to make it much better. And I am opening up. I mean, I was like, you know, I'm at this stage, and I wouldn't mind to open this thing up. Nice, nice, nice. I think it's got 905 pins or something. So 905 pins in this thing. Just like really small. Hmm. 
I don't know, it seems like it's been used or something. It seems like it. Not sure. I'll put it on my system. Let's see how does it work. If it does work, I'll let you guys know about this. It seems like it's been used for some reason or they might be like testing or something. I'm not sure. As far as I can see, all the pins are correct, like nothing, no damage that I see. So, let's just put this thing again back just like it was. And close this thing up. Okay, cool. Sticker. Excited about that. Now, let's look at the cheap, um, <laughs> cheap power supply, um, heat sink, or the cheapest heat sink you ever gonna see. Mm, I shouldn't drop it, okay. Please read this first. Prior to installing your AMD motherboard, please go to AMD. Dot com and download the latest AMD software drivers, the latest software so it can help ensure positive experience and all this kind of stuff. Alright, sounds good. Just saying that download up to date drivers and stuff like that, which you should. And it does support, um, again it is um, socket FM1, so just bear in mind if you get any kind of like, if you are first time computer builder then just wanted to make sure that it is same socket as you, same socket as your motherboard or something like that. Because um, you don't want to get the whole thing here at home and then try to build a computer and then you find out that, you know, you have a different CPU or you got different motherboard either way um, it would be the saddest thing you would do so that's the main thing to actually remember if you like some motherboard and you don't want to get that motherboard just make sure that what kind of uh, CPU it would support if it's Intel or AMD first of all and then if it's either one like Intel just make sure what kind of socket it supports and if it's AMD same thing what kind of so uh, socket it would support so alright like I said nothing exciting about this thing I mean cheap plastic fans and uh, you know like pretty much everything like I hate this kind of stuff because I like to have those sleeves and stuff like that just make it much nicer um, does have a um, pre thermal place to, um, installed so bear in mind you might want to keep this on here until you're actually using the um, heatsink just keep it like this and hopefully it will work. Sure at least. Okay, so this was like long, short, boring kinda unboxing just because not much to talk about here. So oh by the way, it is a four pin fan connector. Make sure it is four pin. Usually, you're gonna see like new motherboards does have like four pins. But if you have, if you already have, um, let's say if you already have a motherboard and you're just deciding to put like a CPU or APU, whatever you wanna call this, it's the same crap almost. Um, and the motherboard fan header is only like three pins. Don't even worry about the one. You could still use this as if you want to use this actually um, as a 3 pin connector too so it's not that big of a deal but the new one 
as far as I know, the new motherboard should support at least at least one four pin connector just for like you know CPU fan sock um, pins and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna close this thing and put it aside. If you guys have any question or anything like that, just uh, comment down below or something and let me know. Uh, you know, send me a message or something. Let me know what what do you want to see on this. I mean. I think I pretty much covered everything because I unboxed the RAM as well and the CPU and nothing exciting so you know just keep this thing somehow staying here so I can put all this stuff back together so I have to do I'm installing all this tomorrow All right, so like I said, question, comments, anything, just down below on YouTube and um, let me know. I'll try to give my best to answer all the questions that you guys have. All right, and see you next video. Thanks for watching.